Welcome to Hoko Politzo's Poetry Moment, featuring Linda Paston's poem, Elegy. I'm Sean Sebastian Nahr. Linda Paston is a quiet poet. Her poems don't shriek, they don't yell, but they still hit hard. In her senior year at Radcliffe, Paston won the Mademoiselle Magazine Poetry Prize. Sylvia Plath came in second. Over her 50 year career, Paston has written more than 15 books of poetry and essays, served as Maryland's Poet Laureate and won the Ruth Lilly Poetry Prize. Her poem that follows this introduction is an elegy, a poem of lament for the dead. In the midst of a pandemic, everyone it seems now knows someone who has died of COVID-19. Every minute in the world, someone's mother, father, grandparent, friend, or child dies of this disease that we can't yet control. Paston's poem recalls a moment decades ago when her mother was in a hospital dying and Paston watched her struggle for life. The images in this poem focus on movement up and down. Snow falls. Flowers struggle up their stalks. The moon rises and sets. The speaker hoists herself from her bed and slides into sleep again. A mother's hospital gown propelled by raggedy breath lifts and falls with jagged respiration. The poem's sound is a rising and falling too with the breath of the reader. And the last line with newly shoveled earth settling is a finality. Even the sound of the word settling, sinking down into the belly when you say it, like a coffin lowered into a grave. Poetry Magazine wrote of those lines, here the minimal style heightens the speech of the faithful witness. Paston was a witness to death and wrote poems as an examiner of grief. In fact, in the full interview with her friend and fellow poet Lucille Clifton, Paston says that people often ask her for a poem to commemorate a funeral or a wedding. She says ruefully that she doesn't have many poems for weddings. Death in this poem and in our world today is both pedestrian and monumental. Most people who die of COVID-19 now, more than 2 million worldwide, end their lives with breath as ragged as Paston's mother's was, with chests pushing up and down by laboring lungs or by ventilators. Many say that being with a loved one at the time of death is a particular privilege. During these contagious times, loved ones can't be with those who are dying. Medical staff are the only witnesses and are suffering that burden. Take care, be safe, find some solace in poetry. And now, Elegy by Linda Paston. Elegy. Last night, the moon lifted itself on one wing over the fields, and struggling to rise this morning like a hooked fish through watery layers of sleep, I know with what difficulty flowers must pull themselves all the way up their stems. How much easier the free fall of snow or of leaves in their season. All week, watching the hospital gown rising and falling with your raggedy breath, I dreamed not of resurrections, but of the slow, sensual slide each night into sleep of dust or newly shoveled earth settling. <laughs> 